on a key? I can't believe it. It really is you. <laughs> we were so worried. Oh, come on. Whoa. Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on. You can let them through. They're good people. I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. I was born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a Watcher of the Veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home, and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my money. My name is Wugenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Nanaki? Not yet. Be right back. Mm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. I thought this door was... ...sealed so that none may enter? Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Veil, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. <clears throat> Has Nanaki told you anything about his parents yet? No. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him? Why would I? <laughs> I see. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the Gi. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the key to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. And the people. 
When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain watcher recalled this vulnerability. Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the veil, he pounced from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of them? <laughs> For now, you can feel the balloon struggles with the Gi. Their malice grows more potent. The Watcher of the Veil fought valiantly, and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait, is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh. oh, oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to see her off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. <laughs> your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid. Because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps. But not anymore, heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> like this? It's not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Veil once more. But I'm a Watcher now. I gotta protect our home, like he did. Listen to me, Mama Ki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, start to believe you've seen it all, but no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki, before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry, we will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I...
I am Nanaki, watcher of Cosmo Canyon, and son of Seto, protector of our Vale. to me. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. <sighs> the warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. turn of events indeed. We'll back you up to thou. Uh, <laughs> no. This one's free. 